What's good, fandom? This is Jeff S., True Knowledge, with Cybernetic Shark, the co-host of the MCU's Bleeding Edge. We are back at it again, uh, covering an article from Screen Rant, Avengers 5 lineup, Phase 4's confirmed team so far. We are now, of course, with Geek News Now Network. Um, I'm very happy to be there. And um, we uh, can be found... Um, at the MCU's bleeding edge.org, all lowercase. That is our website. Uh, if you ever want to contact us, um, you know, or uh, let us know that we suck or how we can improve our game, you can go ahead and do it on there um, and check out the rest of our, uh, you know, other podcast episodes and whatnot. Lots of fun stuff on there. But um, I'm on here with my veteran YouTuber uh, partner in crime, Cybernetic Shark, here on the MCU's bleeding edge. We're going to go ahead and um, kind of, I'm going to summarize this article real quick, and then I'm going to throw it over to Cyber and get some reactions, and then we're going to go back and forth, and then we're going to bang this thing out and be done with it. It's going to be pretty quick, um, and uh, hopefully y'all will enjoy it. So please subscribe to this YouTube channel. We appreciate it. Um, and of course, please follow us on all of our social media and follow our podcast on any of the podcast directories out there. We appreciate all of our fans, all the support we get. Thank you very much, everybody. And here we go to the article. Avengers 5 lineup, Phase 4, confirmed team so far. While the next Avengers film is still far off, as it currently stands, Phase 4 gives a good idea of which characters can be expected to be in it. The following is a list of the heroes most likely confirmed to be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe's next Avengers film. There's no concrete information about what the fifth Avengers film will be about when it will be released, or even what the title will be. That being said, based on how Phase 3 ended and what's been done in Phase 4 so far, there's definitely a list of characters likely to be in it. Um, Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame both left the Avengers in a state of disarray. Vision, Black Widow, and Iron Man all died through various circumstances. Hawkeye is fully committed to retirement. Thor left Earth to adventure with the Guardians of Galaxy. And Captain America went back in time to be with Peggy, resulting in him aging into an old man in present day. Bruce Banner as a Hulk ended up being the only founding member still on the team with, with the status of any additional members in a state of constant flux. Despite these setbacks, however, the Avengers do still exist, and there are plenty of characters who are likely to show up in the next Avengers film. Anyone who definitively died is likely off the table. And Hawkeye's retirement makes it unlikely that he'll be involved, assuming the events of Disney Plus's Hawkeye don't change anything. Also, why Black Panther is still around, the death of Chadwick Boseman makes the in-universe status of both the character and the mantle uncertain. So it's soon to say if the Black, Pan the Black Panther will be involved. That said, here are some of the major characters who could make an appearance. Doctor Strange. I'm not going to read the summaries. Scarlet Witch. Captain Marvel, Monica Rambeau, and Kamala Khan don't agree. Bruce Banner and Jennifer Walters agree. Shang-Chi and Katie, are you fucking kidding me? Look, if Katie is on the Avengers, I will, I will, I will jerk myself off uh, in a video, or, or, or I will, I will blow myself live in a live stream. 
Wong, Spider-Man, Captain America, War Machine, and Man of the Wasp, Loki, nah, Thor, the Guardians of the Galaxy. They won't be there still won't there won't be a Guardians of the Galaxy. And that's it. All right, Cyber. Good list. Good list. Um, so okay. There won't be a Guardians of the Galaxy by the time Avengers 5 comes out. They, they, they will have disbanded the team at that point. You know it and I know it. There won't be a, a Guardians of the Galaxy and t- attack intact team. Um I, I don't know what members of that of that team will survive. We'll have to see, but um Basically, all right, I'm sorry, but um, Shang-Chi, I can work with Shang-Chi being in the Avengers. That works for me. But um, uh, Aquafina, Cyber, what do you, tell me what do you think about that, man? <clears throat> well, I find it highly unlikely she'll be an Avenger, but I definitely foresee her being in the film. I foresee her being around Shang-Chi, but I don't foresee her being an actual Avenger. Uh, I think that's pretty much probably what the article is referring to. I think that's what they mean. I don't think they mean she'll actually be an Avenger. Uh, But yeah, I definitely don't see her to be an Avenger unless her character ends up becoming some comic book character we don't know about. Uh, But I definitely do see her being around. If Shang-Chi is a part of the Avengers, I definitely see her being in the film. Maybe she is going to be playing this character. Maybe. Yes. Maybe. Yes. Definitely. Maybe. Could be her. That um, could be you. <laughs> Cyber, Cyber, how do you know I haven't already had that happen before, man? That's old uh, hat to me. That's old hat to me, brother. Uh, uh, yeah, it could have already happened, but it could happen again. So, uh, Bruce Banner and Jennifer Walters. I agree with that. You agree with that? I do. That's okay. a good that's a good choice. That's a good yeah. choice. Yeah, I don't think there's much to say really about that. They're not gonna no. bring She Hulk in and not have her be in the Avengers, not have her not be in the Avengers. Yeah, no, no. Captain Marvel, Monica Rambeau, and Kamala Khan. Okay, Captain Marvel, Monica Rambeau, sure. Yeah. But Kamala Khan, um, I don't know. Uh what do you think? Uh, that's another one that I'm going to say, kind of like the Katie thing. I think she she might be around, but I don't think she'll be an Avenger. She could be a young Avenger. Yep. Yep. You know, but I mean, she's only like 15 years old. Yeah. You know, yeah. or 16 years old. Um. So I just don't see that really, really happening. Scarlet Witch, most definitely. Mm-hmm. Uh, how old is Elizabeth Olsen? Uh, 31. Okay, so she's got that means she's got 10 plus years still in the MCU if she wants to. Yeah. So that's a that's a given, right? Mm-hmm. I feel she'll be a part of it, yeah, most definitely. And then I know that there's been some speculation with, lately with Doctor Strange and Benedict Cumberbatch as to like what his future is gonna be. But I think we both would agree that he's a concrete like Avenger for Avenger 5. Oh yeah, most definitely. Yeah, I feel if if not Spider Man's leading, he'll be leading. I don't know about Wong though. Do you think Wong will be an Avenger? <sighs> That's another one. I want to say I feel like he'll be around and he'll be in, a part of it, but I don't see him actually being considered an actual Avenger. Well, does, don't the Avengers have to have like um like part timers, like like uh like role players and stuff like that in a way? I guess so, yeah. Yeah. So maybe that's what these what those people will be. Sam Wilson, Captain America. Well yeah, that's definite. I love seeing in the article seeing him being called Captain America above mm-hmm. above Anthony Mackey with the shield. No yeah. More, no more Falcon and the Winter Soldier, no more whatever, you know what I mean? Just yep. Captain America. I like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, I like that. War Machine. Do you think that uh, War Machine um, is going to? Do you think Don Cheadle is going to stick stick around in the MCU for the Avengers Five? 
I don't see why he wouldn't because it, it's a solid gig, and with Tony Stark being out of the picture, having him still around kind of keep, keeps Tony alive a little bit because he is kind of like a product of Tony because mm -hmm. the War Machine is a Stark tech. So I feel like that would be just that would be smart for Marvel to keep him around. Plus also him being like, you know, that general that he is, the, you know, the uh, military person, I feel that I just wouldn't see him retiring until he's like 80. So that, that connection to Tony and that connection to the original Avengers team is big with the fans. Real big. Yeah. So you know, I don't I ever see him. Yeah. Okay. Now Loki, I don't see Loki being on the Avengers. Another one. That I'm going to say, once again, I feel like he'll be present somehow, but he won't be an Avenger, an actual Avenger. Ant-Man and the Wasp. Now, that one, I want to say yes. Yeah. But do you think Paul Rudd will be around for Avengers 5? I think so. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't foresee him aging out anytime. I mean, I know he is 50 now, but still, it's not like... He doesn't look 50. He doesn't he act looks 50. Young. He looks yeah. young. He, he's still in great shape, so I don't foresee him going anywhere. Now, here's a big one. Thor. What do you think about Thor? I mean, Chris Hemsworth said that he'll keep playing Thor as long as people want him playing Thor and as long as Marvel wants him playing it. So I could definitely see him keep playing the character because there is old Thor yeah. in the comic books. Yeah. So, I mean – yeah, if, if he, he it's not even start to age, if he did start to gray a little bit or whatever, yeah. it, would look, it would look fine. Yeah, I mean he's not even forty yet, so I he still has good time on him. So I I foresee him, he could possibly play the character into his fifties. You know, uh, well, no problem. Think, Cyber, don't you think there is something to wanting to keep at least one or two of the original Avengers back on the team? That's got to be important. Yeah, you want you want to have that uh, nostalgicness. Yes, by keeping keeping uh, some original people around because that's going to keep the the fans that are very nostalgic keep coming back and wanting to watch it. Guardians of the Galaxy. Who do you <clears> think <throat> the Guardians do you think might survive all the way to Avengers five, and could actually then be an Avenger? Well, with how three is going to be, I mean the introduction of Adam Warlock. I foresee Adam Warlock becoming an Avenger eventually um, simply just because I feel that's what they're setting him up to be because they also I feel they're setting him up to be the next Star-Lord character um, because I know that this iteration with Chris Pratt you know Gamora Drax Groot and Rocket is supposed to you know be finishing its like it story out it is. Uh, with three um but at the same time, from my understanding, what James Gunn has brought out, that they are forming another Guardians of the Galaxy in 3 that, you know, will, like, span out into more Guardians of the Galaxy films. So Adam Warlock is kind of like the beginning of that growing because he yeah. was a Star-Lord. Yeah, so, Adam, Adam Warlock could, could, could be – he could be, like, the leader of the next Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, so I foresee him being an Avenger. I mean, I don't know about any of the originals. No, no, because um, they're not earthbound characters for one thing. You know what I'm saying? Like they're space characters. You know, so it's like Nebula. Um, I could see her sticking around. Um, that actress, she's pretty young. Um, but if she does stick around, I don't see why she would end up with the Avengers. It makes no sense to me. You know. But, yep, she could be one of those characters that just ends up like in the background or something again. You know what I mean? Uh, but you never know. You never know. Marvel is mysterious in that way. All right, last question before we close out. Close this out of here. Who do you think they didn't mention? If you could name anybody that you think might be on the Avengers, just one person at least. Black Panther. Okay, a different Black Panther. Yeah, okay. I mean, I've seen plenty of articles uh, saying that Mabaku yeah. could become the next Black Panther. Because um, Winston Duke, he he was confirmed for Black Panther 2. Um, they're saying Winston Duke is probably going to be the next Black Panther, and not, they're not going with Siri. Um, and if that is if that is true, because in the comics, Mabaku does become Black Panther at one point. So that could be a possibility. I'm going to go with Yelena Belova. 
Okay. Because I really do honestly believe that she will end up as a character being on the right side of the law and like and and like the game. You know what I mean? And I feel like Marvel's going to have plenty of anti-hero dark type characters coming out in the next couple of years to fill the rosters on the Thunderbolts or the Dark Avengers or whatever they're going to do. Um, there's going to be plenty of characters that can do that, you know? But there's, only, but there's only one character that could replace Black Widow, at least like, you know, t- to some extent, and that would be Yelena Belova. So I would agree. I think it would be a good for the next Avengers team to have a Black Widow. I do. Um, you know, th- that doesn't mean that Yelena Belova is going to be able to um, deliver at the same level that ScarJo did for us, but we'll have to see. So anyways, anyway, um, for Cybernetic Shark, uh, this is Jeff Sloboda, True Knowledge. Um, we hope you enjoyed this segment. Uh, we enjoyed it because we love the MCU. We love Marvel. It's what we do. And, um, you know, hopefully we'll see you guys soon. Peace. It's going down. Tip it, 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 tip it